for after. All right, so Josh Ball images in this one's warm for the tones and then quite flat and filmic contrast. I'll be linking them down below. We are working with this shot, trying to recreate the exact edit. We've got the raw image, but you can see there's a lot of warmth, a lot of Mac to the image. So I really love this contrast, how smooth that image looks. It looks really filmic, but really good behind the scenes of how he actually captures his images. Come check him out, really good content. He is going to be part part of my course and join the list of really talented photographers that are teaching editing inside my course where you get the raw image you get the preset and then you get the step-by-step -step lesson from countless creators all right so here's a screenshot of his instagram and we have the raw image so cropping uh just put her more on the raw thirds there square kind of cropping here settings 2.8 semi creamy background uh 35 mil iso 400 um and a shutter of 800 not too much going on but as you can see really maxing out the histogram there straight away i want my tones to be really warm so i'm going to do that in here and then i'm going to bring down exposure slightly and if you're inside the course you get the raw image to follow along in this lesson with countless other raw images and dngs for you to download highlights look at that cloud shape we get when we bring the highlights down a bit of vibrance and a bit more color so curves are going to play a big role in the texture and the fade and the, the look of this image so turning on the curves this is the curves i went with so as you can see we're really fading out background uh, the whites and highlights there capping them off and then we got this fade the shadows here the blacks and then this one is doing something similar so up here we have to bring up the blacks because we can't see anymore so let's bring these up a bit more shadows so you can see even more and a little bit of whites for some pop contrast and just real quick we look a little oversaturated like in our oranges yellows and some greens so we're there pretty quickly just like that and i'm gonna play with the luminance like look at the, the grass and the yellows and like her skin tone look a lot of shine to it so quickly gonna bump up the yellow luminance and then the blue water has a lot of color in it so i'm gonna try to bring it down the luminance it will like flatten it maybe make it look a bit more saturated and bring out the colors and then just bring them up in saturation as well and then we want them to be more of a teal same with the aquas yeah but we're going to come into split toning and i just want like more yellows in the highlights you can see definitely see that so in the highlights i'm going to put in quite a bit of warmth and then in the shadows we're going to have a nice blue here just to cool off the shadows a touch i think that really helps our tones um maybe a tiny bit of sharpening and then we definitely probably should have done this earlier but profile corrections get rid of the vignetting and then go a tiny bit of grain okay so what i want to do is just a few brushes not many but just to bring a few colors out so up the top right here so i want to bring down the exposure so we can like see more of those clouds and stuff i'll mainly do it in the highlights because i find that's what brings back the most cloud detail you drop the contrast just so it's all softer back there whites for a bit of a punch or a glow back there saturation for all those colors to pop out there and then down the bottom left here we want to frame our subject a little better so just exposure down and then i think just one more so this one here we're brushing over all the dirt here and i think we have brought out all the redness a lot we can bring out the redness by adding warmth in and then some purple that really makes purple tones and the red the um, dirt really stand out this is a screenshot so it looks a little smoother so maybe drop the sharpening even more but yeah i'm pretty happy with that so if we go reset it's the before and after is that before after so i love this kind of style the film style um yeah i'd say the biggest takeaways is maybe the curves if you want to know really in depth about the curves during the course because we go really in depth on what's happening in the, in the curves why you choose different curves and stuff like that but i'd say they're playing a big role in this image for that smoothness 
Highlights kind of to bring back all that detail and flatness. Exaggerating the tones, again a bit warmer, split toning. A little luminance to bring out the brightness of some colours. And then yeah, just getting the right saturation to them all. And then not too much in the, in the hues. The masks played a bit of a role. So if we go delete all masks without masks and then with them or after, that's it. Make sure you check out the free training if you haven't already. So what that free training is, it takes you through color and the curve. The two things I think people don't know about and they need to know about if they want to get better at editing. So I definitely want you guys to get really good at color and curves. And once you've gone through that lesson and got a handle of that, I'd say come check out the course because we have over 700 people in there now. It teaches you the why behind all your adjustments. You can create any style you want because we're comparing all these styles. We're really breaking down the why behind all your adjustments in the course we go much deeper than these youtube tutorials on the why and the theory behind everything you get countless raw images and on and on so come over check it out at mantrader.com catch you guys in the next one